This is our cool old farm truck. I prefer a Dodge because they are so durable, can pull heavy weight, and they're very simple to work on. In my experience, parts are not as expensive as buying Ford parts, which just infuriate me the difference in price. We got rid of every Ford that we ever owned. But you can see in the back it has a hitch and will easily pull our large hay wagon here. The tractor really isn't a bug out vehicle, but if you needed to, you could throw some gear on the tractor. It has a few storage compartments and help uh, pave your way and get you through a few places. Now this hay wagon, if we put sides on it, it would definitely be great for carrying a lot of materials and people. Um, if you're bugging in, need to go get relatives, parents, kids from school, whatever you might need to do, you could put a large group of people on this and pull it. But to do so, carrying something of this type without having an axle, you would really need a pickup truck. Players will drive it for a good distance, but a heavier load on it would make it hard for an ATV side by side like that to pull it five, ten miles rugged terrain. If you're just going for a little bit of space, carrying materials to divvy up, um, getting you from your rug out retreat to your auxiliary spot in your property. You could you could pull something like that if it's not too heavy with your players, but it would be very rough on it. But with a Dodge truck or any pickup truck that you might have, the full size bed, it gives you ample storage space for people and goods. Having a man a box in the back like this, it's supposed to be a toolbox, and we have tools in there, you know, carrying a, a, a fold up shovel and a hatchet and a hacksaw. Um, you know, all different types of things that you would like to have in your bug out bag were a little bit too heavy. Typical type of things you'd have if you lived in a rural area to begin with. One side of it is filled with supplies like that and fire starters. The other side has some emergency food and bottles of water. But with the pickup bed, that gives you ample room to store. When I looked at the size of the boxes, a wide food storage bucket, you could fit 30 in here without a problem, still have room for other materials stacking side by side and on top of each other and a ratchet strap over it that would give you plenty of space for ample food, cases of water. I'd say you could get 30 boxes in here if you went at least too high and ratchet it down and maybe 10 cases of water besides your emergency medical supplies and some hand tools inside the toolbox. Our truck is a dual cab. It has full seating and back. We've had three car seats in there at one time and there was plenty of room much less scrunch in our blazer we have four blazers the ones my husband and i have for daily, daily drivers all with four wheel drive and hitches an older blazer that's not in great shape it'll still get you where you need to go and we kept the old old blazer to use for parts so we could have ready parts around the shit hits the fan you're not gonna be able to go to a store to get what you need keeping old parts by keeping old junk vehicles buying old junk vehicles and making frequent trips to um, a junk lot or any type of used car sale place like that, a junkyard. You might be able to stock up on supplies you won't be able to get otherwise that would come in handy. Storing any type of electronic components in a Faraday cage would be highly advisable. You find you an old 1950s or 60s Dodge, Chevy, truck, something like that, it would be much less susceptible to an EMP.